So if you just recently picked up the Samsung Galaxy S4 Zoom, or if you have the Samsung Galaxy camera, one of the other applications you want to download on a separate Samsung Galaxy device is referred to as the Remote Viewfinder. Now this is crazy cool. It is the blue icon with the white Wi-Fi signal in the middle. And what you're going to want to do is go to the Samsung App Store, not the Play Store, to get this thing downloaded. If for some reason you do not have the Samsung App Store application that is on your phone, just go to SamsungApps.com on the phone here and you can actually download the Remote Viewfinder. So this is how it works. When you go into the Samsung Galaxy Camera or the Samsung Galaxy S4 Zoom, which is what I'm holding, just go into the Camera. Hit on the carrot on the upper left hand side. Hit on the settings icon. And then on here, there is a third tab. It's referred to as share. So choose the remote viewfinder on the very bottom. And so now this is setting up a Wi Fi signal so then it can connect to another device. Now on my Note 3 over here, I'm going to choose the remote viewfinder. And then this is what is extremely cool. You can actually control this camera with this device. And so how that works, or one of the things you'd be able to do, once this thing gets connected, there we go. So as you can tell, it is live. Uh, it's just a live stream. Basically, I'm gonna set this thing horizontally. Now, one of the things you'd be able to do here is you have the flash. So you can turn on the flash, you can have it's auto, red eye, fill in, uh, slow sync, and all these other options. You also have the timer, then you have what size you want the pixels. So if you want it in 16 megapixels, choose on the 16 megapixels. And then the very right hand side, that icon is the camera icon. This is where you can actually choose where you want the picture to be saved. If you want it to be just on the camera, you can choose the camera option. If you want it to be on not only this device, but also the camera, then you can choose that option. So check this out. What I'm going to be able to do here is when you touch on this little picture here, you're going to see that you can zoom in and zoom out. So you don't want to click on the icons. Um, I've noticed that they're, uh, you know, that's not how it zooms in. So you just choose on the line. And so now you can tell that I am zooming in on this right here. So I can zoom in one more time if I wanted to. And then because it's a little dark, as you guys can tell, I'm going to go to the fill in for the flash. So it flashes no matter what. I'm going to choose on the picture icon. Bam, there we go. So now you have not only the picture stored on this device over here, but you also have the picture stored on the phone. If it looks a little blurry or it wasn't as clear as, clear as a photo, it's only due to the fact that it is being streamed. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press and hold on my home icon. I'm gonna click on close all. So then it actually gets out of the application over here. And so now when I pull over this device over here, I will head out of this camera application and I'll go into the gallery so, so you guys can see the photo. So I click on photo, and that is the photo that I just took. And so that looks clear and crisp. And then I'm gonna head over to this Note 3, just so you guys can see where that's at on the device. You go into the gallery, remote viewfinder, and there's the photo. Hope you guys enjoy. If you guys have any questions, comment. If you guys have not subscribed or liked this video yet, make sure you guys subscribe, and I'll keep you guys up to date with anything Samsung.